Hi, I'm Samuel Varghese, and this is Tools for Storytelling. In this episode, which is filmed at the NAB show in Las Vegas, we'll be looking at the RC RGB light bulb from Aperture. And action. We're at the Aperture booth at NAB talking with Brandon about Aperture's new RC light. Uh, tell us about it. So this is Aperture's new smart bulb, just like your Philips Hue, your LifeX bulbs. This has full uh, hue saturation and intensity control, 360 degrees of hue control, 100 degrees of saturation control, and of course 100% intensity control, 0 to 100 brightness. So you got 36,000 colors all inside this little bulb right here. You have WWRGB just like we have in the Aperture MC. But one of the cool things about this is actually that this isn't your normal light bulb. I can totally pull this out and have it still be on. That's because inside this bulb we have an 1800 milliamp battery that is going to power this guy at full power for 60 minutes and over 20 hours at minimum power. So this is going to be great to use for if you need to use a practical on set, but also may maybe you need to hide the cord, maybe you need to go to a location that you know won't have any power. You can still be able to use your practicals in any situation, any lamps that you need. It actually charges inside of the lamp socket. That's how you charge the light bulb at the moment. That's brilliant. So the way to charge it is just to, to screw it into a light socket and, and it just automatically starts charging? Yes, is exactly how it works. All this technology is inside this A22 size bulb. We had to try really, really hard and the engineers worked really hard to fit all the technology inside of here. In addition, you have full app control like with the Aperture MC, so you have full effects. Like you can put faulty bulb actually inside of a bulb now instead of just on the 120D Mark II. In addition, this guy is made for film. This is not your typical Philips Hue or LifeX bulb because this is made for filmmakers. We know that in addition to your RGB color, you knew that you need white light. You need good, functional, perfect white light. So of course we have 95 plus CRI, just like we have in all of our other lights. And in addition, we are flicker free at any frame rate. Wow, that is amazing. Um, it's not available yet, right? But when will it be? We're looking at a release date towards the end of the year. This is one of our newer prototypes, so we're still taking time to perfect it and figure out what our consumers really want. We're looking towards the end of the year, fall for that. Um, and we're looking at a price point of $59 for a single bulb. You can also buy this in packs of two and four. So you're $115 for a pack of two and $225 for a pack of four, basically knocking $5 off for every additional bulb in the pack. Very cool. Um, I'm really tempted just to buy like a dozen of these and go home and change all the lights out of my house. That's exactly what we want you to do. Now you can have high CRI lights all over your house. I, I don't know about you, man, but I am I am totally the person who like, I'm like changing my kitchen lights because I, I don't like the hard lighting. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna like, do things to make it soft lighting and, and uh, alter all those things. And I don't know if I'm the only like film person that does that, but. Uh... No, 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 you're not the only film guy person who does that. I do that, a lot of my friends do that. I have a friend who actually just with normal bulbs just puts gels on top of their lights because, you know, filmmakers, you gotta add a little spice to your life. You gotta add a little color. That's that's awesome. And, and this light, the uh, Aperture RC, See, right mm -hmm. is gonna make that so much easier to do yes, yes. and we're hoping to keep, again to keep it affordable because you know practicals are really hard to come by good practicals you're dealing with harsh tungsten lights that will warm up when you dim them and while that quality is nice it's hard to maintain a brightness level while you're also maintaining a degree of control of your color temperature now you have control of your brightness and your color temperature all inside this bowl right here cool and uh, a lot of the control functions will be on the aperture app coming out uh, later this year correct yes, yes. we're looking at a Again, uh, a summer, late summer release date for the app, so it'll be compatible with all of our lights coming forward, uh, all of our lights that are going to be released here on forward, including the RC, the MC, the WRGB, the 300D Mark II. Oh, and in addition, something super cool about the app. Yeah. So we're also going to be coming out with something called the Citus Link Bridge. So the app is called the Citus Link. So that Citus Link Bridge, what it does is allows your app to connect to this device, which then connects to all of your old Aperture lights through radio frequency. So you're thinking, okay, now it's great. Aperture's coming out with an app. It's super cool, but it's only for its newer lights. So what am I going to do if I have a 120D Mark II? What am I going to do if I have a 300D Mark I? How am I going to control everything? Well, now you can with the Citus Link Bridge. So what that does is it uses Aperture Wireless uh, protocol to connect to all the other lights. So within the app, you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the color temperature, but in addition to that, you can also breathe new life into all of your old lights by adding the effects that we have inside the app that we have for our new products to your older lights. And you can now trigger explosions with the 300D, you can trigger faulty bulb, you can trigger strobes with 300D, as long as you have the Sinus Link bridge within its radio frequency. 
Wow, that is awesome. Uh, something that we really love about Aperture is just maintaining the, I guess, the longevity and the sustainability of stuff. It's not like other companies where you like come out with a new product and every previous product becomes obsolete. Yeah, yeah. We we knew that we wanted to give everyone app control because that's the next new wave in, of control. Everyone has their phones on them all the time. Everyone's bringing their iPads to set now to control their lights. And we want to get into that party and we want to show that Aperture can do everything everyone else does and possibly even better, especially with now with this Citus Link Bridge. You control everything. We don't want to leave anyone behind whether it's just because they just bought a 120D Mark I, Mark II, or even these guys, the old 672 lights, the Tri-8s, everything that uses an Aperture remote can be controlled by the Citus Link Bridge. Wow, wow, that, you guys are going all the way back. Yes. So, That's awesome. Yeah, like I said, breathing a whole new life into all of your Aperture remote controlled lights. Very cool, this is why we love you guys. <laughs> cool, thanks Brandon. Of course, thank you. Brandon, thank you again for taking the time to talk with us. I hope you found this information helpful in your pursuit of tools for storytelling. If you have, please share, like, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more of our coverage from NAB 2019, you can do so by following the link provided. Thank you for watching.